hi all welcome back so today in this video we'll be covering about iframe so how we can handle iframe with playwright so there are uh, things like in this video we will be covering like how we can handle iframe with the help of iframe locator and iframe id okay there is another thing like iframe name as well but that is will not be covering in this video probably i will make it a separate video for that so let's see that in action okay uh, now let me open the website which i am trying to show you so this is the website where this is the autocomplete website and if i enter something you can see it's giving some options right so now let me inspect it and i can see like the input tag is there right so i can take the class name and use it so input dot this class name we will find this locator right and uh, but the problem is that uh, there is an iframe here right so first you have to switch to this iframe and then you have to come here so if you do not switch here you cannot just directly access it if you try to access it it will, it will give you error right so let's see that first without switching iframe what is happening let me create a uh, python file so i can name it a test iframe uh, test iframe and test handle iframe okay and uh, let me edit so i can copy this code and paste it here so basically i just i'm just reusing this template and now I will be writing from this page dot go to and let me copy this URL. Okay, now what we have to do, we want to click, uh, we want to press A or we want to type something here, right? So I can just copy this class name and I can do input dot this simple and here so we can do page dot uh, page dot locator right so locator and this one and then it should give me the um, auto suggestion or input field input field okay so page dot locator is giving me the locator of this input field and now i want to type here so to type we, we use fill command right so dot fill method we will be using and here we will be typing let's say e and after that let me give some pause so page dot wait for timeout and 3000 milliseconds now here i am running it uh, minus dash dash headed and just a spelling mistake so uh, then basics and then test underscore handle iframe okay so i'm running it let's see whether it's it is working or not and if it is not working then what error we are getting Okay, as you can see it's waiting so probably it is not try i mean it is not getting this locator so it will wait for i think 30 seconds that's the default timeout so after that it will fail okay so as expected this is failing due to timeout error and what error it's giving so it's saying like uh, waiting for the selector input dot ui auto com auto complete input so basically the playwright is trying to find this locator but it is not getting it and it will it is waiting till this 30 seconds timeout duration okay so we know the reason why it is failing so if you in your application if you are finding this kind of issue then probably there might be a chance like there is a iframe there 
and because of that it's failing so first you have to switch to this iframe so why I'm talking about switching to iframe because if you're coming from selenium background then you know like uh, there is a concept called concept called like we have to first switch to this iframe and then we do the normal operation so but in playwright it it, it it is a bit different okay but it's better than selenium I can say so here we are not doing the switch operation but what we are will be doing uh, see if this is your target element like this is my target element and iframe is the parent I can say parent parent or maybe ancestor so not direct parent but it's ancestor right so we'll be using a concept called like first this is will be locating this element and based on that will be locating this element so it's like selecting element based on other element or based on parent element so let me create a locator for this iframe i mean this element okay i mean it should give me look at locate it here so i can easily look uh, create a locator uh, xpath for this or maybe i can create a css locator for this so i can write like iframe dot uh, demo frame right so what is this so this is a css selector for this iframe right now i will take this and here what i'll be doing i will write page dot you can see locator is there right but we'll not be using locator we'll be using this frame locator because this is a iframe so we have to use frame locator here and inside this we have to give this iframe dot demo frame so this is our css so instead of locator we just use this method called frame locator and then so this becomes our uh, i mean this is the this is the element right what element this is a frame element and this is ancestral so we have to paste dot here and after that we can create this locator options so basically element dot locator you can store it in another variable as well if you are not comfortable with it so basically we can try like something like this frame locator or frame element okay and this is the frame element and we are just using this frame element from this frame element we are going to this locator so first we locate this element and from there we are locating this element so this can be applied to any other thing like you can create a simple page dot locator i mean like this this is called chaining of locator right so this chaining of locator is applicable for other thing as well like if you just create a parent locator and based on this that locator dot locator that will be coming so i mean it is not like for this one maybe let let me give you example so let's say we are giving uh, something here just arbitrary thing and now if I type uh, this is another locator right so what is this so this is basically uh, sorry for the confusion uh, so this locator I'm just writing it now let me write it oh we have already so you can just copy paste it yeah so this is the input field which you want so what I'll be doing okay so from this frame element we created the child locator okay or grandchild locator and uh, this is the input field and from this input field also you can like create a locator again so basically if you're here I mean uh, if you're here you can go if there is another child element is there or child um, tag is there so you can go in that as well from this input field so this is called chaining of locator right okay so I can delete it so what we just did we went to this page and then we created a frame element that is page dot frame locator and we pass the CSS selector of that iframe and from that frame element we created 
another locator or another element for this input field so this step is required for switching to the element or maybe not switching but this two step is I mean we can combine it in one step but for better understanding purpose we have just used there we use like that okay now let me run it So as you can see it is working so it typed e and then it i mean uh, it paused for three seconds and then it is it closed it closed the uh, browser window okay so this is for like uh, we can we can talk about like frame locator right so now let let's see like how we can handle uh, iframe with its id so if you can see like here there is no id so we cannot see any example here so we have to if you have to handle this iframe we have to create a wave element for that so that we have just seen this is a element not a wave element but element wave element is a different concept coming from selenium so we just created an element for that and or selector for that and we did it now let's see how we can handle by id so if i inspect it here this is a different page from internet herokuapp.com slash iframe i will give this to url in the description you can use it so here as you can see this is also iframe and here we have different different options like it, it is having class it is having title and um, allow transparency frame border and id so as there is an id so i can use it so let's see we are not creating any uh, locator for that like uh, has id or iframe iframe has id or any kind of xpath we are not creating that we just use this id okay so how will be using it let me create a new method dev test and this should be renamed as test iframe and this is test iframe to page and page dot go to So now what we have to do, we have to we want to type here something. So basically, you can see uh, this body is the locator for this text area. So we have to find the locator of this body. Okay, so let me create a locator for that. So what kind of locator we can create here? Um, so we can create body. ID so basically we created a CSS locator and let's use page dot locator and this should be the locator of or selector of this uh, input area right okay now we have to what we have to do we want to type something so as you can see i mean okay first uh, you can uh, try this input dot type and we want to pass what will be pricing so i want to pass automation nibo right so if you have not subscribed to the channel and if you are enjoying this video please do subscribe it would help me to create more such contents so yeah and uh, next so now if i run it you can you know like it will be failing so what you have to do you have to first switch to the 
or we have to first uh, get this iframe and from that iframe we have to go to this locator right so we can do something like this so um, let me create a locator for this one so this is id right and what we'll be doing we will be creating a locator here page dot frame so as you can see there is a locator i mean this is a frame right so page dot frame so what it is returning let me show you so it returns the frame matching the specified criteria either name or url must be specified so here it's saying like either name but id would also work okay and name i do not didn't get any kind of uh, url so maybe in a different video i'll show you how we can switch to uh, with a name attribute okay but here we are passing id right and now after that we just have to take it and replace here simple right so page dot frame and then dot locator and this body and this uh, css so let me run it now and let's see whether it's working or not so i'm giving two colon and test iframe to So it collected one item. Okay, it's loading. It's taking some time to load. Okay, so you can see it entered automation demo, right? okay so our target is uh, uh, target is achieved right so this is how we can uh, like handle iframe with the help of uh, like uh, a by creating a locator for that and also using the frame id so there is uh, one more way probably i can cover in a different video okay so let's see that and if you are enjoying this playlist please uh, do subscribe the channel and also like share and um, yeah so thank you for watching bye